Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Lego The Incredibles. Last episode we explored the industrial district and unlocked Wally, which was super duper exciting. And now I guess we'll move back over to Urban Heights because we never really did that too much. I wanted to do the industrial because some of you were recommending it. And now we have times 960 stun multiplier, which is super exciting. So now we're just gonna storm on through and you know just help out people wherever we might need to. Destroy the pizza planet sign, because why not? And there should be new Urban Heights, which might be a little bit difficult comparatively to the industrial district because there's a lot of buildings to climb up and stuff. So I think this episode might be a little bit longer. For those of you who are asking for longer episodes, you got it. I think there's a civilian stuck under a car here. Or no, there's just a beat up car. This car was running over all kinds of civilians before. Okay, so yeah, we'll just start exploring some. Oh, hey, what are you doing over here? Heightened senses, I guess they're just hi hiding enemies like that. That might be, oh, that is something, actually. I'm now realizing about the industrial area. Did I actually check the checklist? I never checked the checklist. There's still two more gold bricks to get here. Uh-oh, I guess I'll have to do that in today's episode too. I told you the last episode was my first time playing in a couple days. Guess I forgot to do some stuff. Is this, so I guess this one right here is actually a part of the industrial area. I thought it wasn't because it's outside of the yellow block, but it's not in anything else either. So you know what? We'll have to remember to do that at the end of today's episode. But for now, what can we do in this area? Uh, First off, we just did this. This is Urban Heights thing. And then, this is the Industrial District. We don't really know what the hidden challenge is, which is weird, I looked all over, but I guess it didn't look well enough. So we need to find out what the Industrial Area's thing is. I can't believe I made that silly of a mistake. But in the meantime, we should probably switch over to a flying character. That way we can find all of the incredible bricks in the area. That'll be our first operation. And then after that, we can start doing some other crazy stuff like finding gold bricks. I mean, we can find gold bricks if we find them along the way. Ooh, no, 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 not what I wanted. I wanted to change over to, I think it was Downbringer or Downburst. I don't ever remember his name. Cause he can fix things and he can fix this, which has been a long time coming, finding all of these. We've been finding one in each area. That's six out of 10 now, which is pretty good. Uh, this one should be right here. We're, we're just gonna go for it. Oh, okay, so it's somewhere around here. Right, oh, oh, okay, I see. We need to change to a character that can break gold, which should be Jack-Jack, if we want to just do that real quickly. And then, yeah, go for this. Very nice. And now it's just sitting right there, so go ahead and grab that, boom, switch back to Jack-Jack. Oh, you know what, there. I just want to change the splash down again so he can fly out of here. There you go, some good progress already, though I like it. Hmm, and then there's another gold brick, I can already see it, just chilling out over this way. Go ahead and grab that. So I haven't seen any more of the hiding drones, but I'll try to look for them for sure. And there should be a, a, an incredible brick somewhere around this way as well. Yep, just chilling out in the corner. What if a civilian found this? Like, what in the world is this thing? I'm gonna keep it, and then we would never be able to complete the game. That'd be awful. Luckily, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, so there's another one this way, just on this fire escape. Splashdown is such a useful character. I try to play a good variety, but the Splashdown, there's some def definitely some characters that are just easier to access than others when it comes to just getting around and stuff. Splashdown is one of them, definitely. Okay, so what do we got going on down here? It looks like another, wait, is this a, no, that's a, that's, that's a grill. I thought that was another one of the drones. Then we got a gold brick, very cool. And Jack Jack's just running around here. <laughs> what if, like, what, uh, how famous is the Incredibles family, right? I mean, I'm sure they're pretty famous, but probably Jack Jack isn't quite, right? So, like, I wonder if Splashdown's just sitting here thinking, like, what is this baby following me for? What do I do about this situation? He looks like a superhero, but he's a baby. Maybe that's his power, is deceit. He can deceive people into thinking he's a baby when in reality he's an old man. I don't know. Splashdown seems silly enough to think that. So, there should be an Incredible Brick somewhere near this building. Probably, oh, yep, I see it, in this little uh, telephone booth. There we go. We're getting really close. If we get 10 more Incredible Bricks, we'll be three quarters of the way done. How cool is that? And there should be another one on this side somewhere. I guess down this way. Yeah, in here, for sure. Boop, got it. That might be the most of them. Oh, there we go, we got another one of these. Broke it, two out of five for the heightened senses. Not bad. We're gonna have to look all over for those. And for all over the industrial area too. So this episode is definitely gonna be longer. Cause I was just a dingus last episode and just forgot about all that stuff. I'm so sorry. Okay, so uh, worry, what do we got going on over here? 
Oh, oh gosh, uh, you're not a professional, or at least it's not under control. You might be a professional, I shouldn't doubt that. But, uh, there we go, build this. What is this gonna be? Oh, I guess it's just the remaining pieces. Oh, I see, we need our combo that we haven't used in a while. We need Violet and then Dash. Come on, I just need you to change. Why is this not working? I just need you to change characters. Maybe I gotta go like this. There we go, okay, that's weird. Uh, but let's go ahead and do dash, just like this. Let's change over to di Violet. <laughs> Dialet and Vash. There we go. And let's try this out, will this work? I mean, it seems like it's already very electrically charged, so I don't know how this is helping all that much. But there we go, we saved the day, woo, making you dizzy up there. <laughs> All right, 134 golden bricks, very nice. Now let's go ahead and switch back to a flying character. Um, Let's just go back to Splashdown. That's sort of always our best bet. And I feel like there's gonna be another one of the drones around. I mean, maybe I'm just totally being silly with that, but it feels like it'd be correct. Oh, here we go, here's a no super sign, so at least there's something. Boom, oh, a little bit closer. There we go, super supporter, seven out of 10. We need to find three more then. Hopefully in time we can do exactly just that. And there's supposed to be a golden brick, yep, right up here. This is hard to get to, but I got it. 135 now. Okay, so and then there's an, an incredible brick right in front of my face. I don't know how I didn't see that. But what about this? Can I get inside of this? Is there another super race? Oh, I think it is. It's gonna be like, hey, go all the way over there. Yeah, there's the super race, dude. Okay, so we did one of these in the last episode, it was really interesting. I guess we got another one now. So where is that dude? On top of this building? Yep, I see him. All right, let's try this out. We gotta get our other teammate. There you are. <laughs> Don't know where you came from, but come on, get on the button. You can do it. You know, let's, let's turn off this whole, you know, violet ball thing. So where are we going? I mean, we know where we're going, we were just there. But how are we getting to it? Is there any rings? I don't think so. So the fastest thing, of course, will just be to fly. We only got 14 seconds and it's ticking down even faster, but we flew over there wickedly quick. That was amazing, 136 now. Very good. If you say so. It was pretty easy last time. I mean, I actually messed it up on the first try. This, this time was easier, for sure. What is the other area down this way? That's just the docks, okay, I thought so. I was like, am I, do I, am I getting my geography correct? Indeed I am, for now at least, until I start messing it up. So there is a race here, I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. Oh, this is the, the bank, we've saved this bank a couple times. Could we bust into it, are these doors we can do anything about? I don't think so. <laughs> we play as the bad guy. We'll be able to do that in the next Lego game. We have uh, Lego DC Super Villains coming up. That's gonna be cool. I am super excited for that. But for right now, let's just focus on this one. Where is this next credit, next incredible brick? The camera's going crazy. It's just behind this building. Surprise! There's not another drone back here. We're really gonna have to go through the city to find all of that. Uh, okay, and this is where we started. So we've made basically a good circle with everything. I mean, we, we gotta go through sort of the center of the city a little bit more. I'm not really too worried about the fire because I know I've already found all of that. So where is this brick? Guess it might be in between here. It's telling me to go down still. There it is, what is with this little, is this like a newspaper stand? I guess so. All right, so we, we, we made some good progress there. So all we need to do now is find four more gold bricks. Those will be the the build, the two races, and then the, what's it called? The, 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 the drones. So let's get to that. If I move this way, should be able to find it somewhere. Hey, here we go. So this one obviously will be probably easier with Lightning McQueen. Let's get him out. There he is and activate this race at the New Urban Heights Bank. Well, let's do a bank race, apparently. Two, one, and go. Where's the next, oh, right in front of me. Oh no, oh no, come on, you can't do that to me. Oh, that's bad, I'm probably gonna run out of time then. I gotta imagine. Maybe it'd be easier with a flying character, I don't know. We got like some kind of interesting obstacle course this time, whoa, where are we going? Through there, whoa, going back up this way. Oh my, oh my, there you go, there you go. Run over to this quick. So we seem to be making okay time. I mean, most of it really isn't up to our own control. Obviously, it would be, oh, there it is, that's the end. Nice, okay, we made some good time with that, actually. 
with a not-so-speedy character, and there's somebody in need right in front of us. I'll help you out, lady. I don't know how this fell on you, this like air conditioning vent, but it's not my problem how it happened, but it's my problem to fix it. Everyone zero, very good. I feel like we haven't poked around this area too much. Ooh, the supers have returned. We get ourselves a little trophy for that one. No, we have been over here, okay, never mind. So where's the next race? The next race is over here. I think it's actually on the bridge, but I'll just poke around just to make sure. I'm still trying to keep my eyes peeled if I see anything that I can help with. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, it's looking like it's on the bridge. Well, let's just do this the normal car way by, oh, it's nighttime now. I can go up this way and uh, should be, oh, sorry, Violet, I ran her over. I mean, you are you were standing on the highway. Come on, go, it's showtime. So let's give this a shot. Ooh, get these easy studs while I'm going. We have 73 million studs. I didn't even notice how much we've been climbing with that. We're, we're on the road to a billion already. Okay, oh, oh, we're doing a little bit of a U-turn. I mean, Lightning McQueen doesn't even have any blinkers. This has to be violating some kind of road laws. Okay, grab that. Not so bad. Nice, okay, we got through those two pretty quickly. It's a minute 15, which actually is quite a lot of time for one of these races. I don't know how much farther, whoa, ho, ho, we have to go. I'll do what I can. That's sort of the interesting thing is that you have like full range of movement with Lightning McQueen when it comes to his turns. You can just really make 90 degree turns, you can make a complete 180. It was like totally on a dime, Ooh, oh, just like that. Which is sort of disorienting at times, but it's also really funny. Oh, excuse me. Somehow I still got that. Okay, keep going. We gotta be at the end soon, right? Here it is. Woo, okay, a minute three. So we actually had like a minute and almost 12 seconds. Very cool, so 10,000 studs actually going to be 9.6 million. Isn't that crazy? We're gonna continue, we're not, we're not gonna play again. But now with all of that done, bad guys are trying to beat us up. I'm just gonna ignore them. Beat them up, Lightning. You can do it. That's right, it's me, Gamma Jack. So there's a couple things still left on the to-do list. First off, what in the world is this? Nothing, okay. The first thing is to go to some of the Incredibles. We only have one, it's the Pixar build. We're gonna do that one Pixar build, and then we will, uh, what's it called? We'll try to look for some drones, and then move back to the industrial area and do whatever thing we need to do there. So first off, we got this going on. What Pixar character are we gonna unlock? I can't wait to see. Got it. Come on, keep tapping. I don't know, because like last episode was Wally, and that was so cool. I don't know if too much can beat that. Okay, we got it, we got it. Who's it gonna be? Oh, there's like a diggable spot to our right. Was that the always there? I'm not sure. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's Bugs Life! Oh, you got the giant set of feeds! Oh, that's so cool! Casey Jr.'s cookies. Awesome. So what do we got going on here? Hey, it's him! I forget his name right now. <laughs> it's Flick. That is so cool. Uh, I was worried he wouldn't be in this game because it's just like an unpopular Pixar movie for some reason. I love it though, it's great. All right, incredible indeed. So let's try out Flick. I think he's gonna be able to dig, but I also need to pick up these studs before they disappear. So if we could do that really quickly by changing the lightning and just grabbing as many as I possibly can because this is gonna be me tons, tons of studs. And indeed it did. We're at 1.45 million now. So I'm gonna switch over to Gamma Jack, and here he is. So he can dig, he can do something with volcanoes apparently. I guess he can dig into bigger piles. This is so cool. So what's gonna be under here, buddy? Oh, oh, hey, what in the world is this? It's, oh, it's a little spotlight. Maybe there's a couple of those. Uh, You bet there is. Okay, so let's try this one out a little bit and then build that up there. Everybody's gonna be interested in our little thing. I haven't watched this movie in so long now. Ow, ow, lightning, come on, dude. I gotta do this. Don't steal his spotlight. <laughs> be very rude. What do we got inside? Oh yeah, it's like one of the takeout food things. Yeah, it's a red brick. Okay, ow, stop doing that. What is this? The pickup detector added to your collection. I gotta check this out. What is the pickup detector? Right up this way. So, come on. I gotta get up back into that screen, come on. There we go. 
Highlight nearby pickups. Ooh. Whoa, it's sort of a clutter. But I sort of like it. So if we were to ride on this way, this is gonna be fantastic. There it is! Oh, it's amazing! Oh, I love this one. It makes the game a little too easy though, right? Like, I don't know, you guys can let me know. Do you wanna see this? Well, we'll try it out in today's episode to sort of just showcase what it does, how to do it and everything. But let me know, is this cheating? Should I not have this? Is this a little too easy, you know? I love your, oh, ho, 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 I would've never found that. Isn't that cool? I mean, it is a little hard to maneuver with because it's just sort of squares everywhere and it's hard to tell how close they actually are. So in that way, it's a total mess. But if we were maybe to fly through the city a little bit more, that might make it easier. I'm sort of getting used to how it works, but even then, it's not easy. It's like super weird. Uh, so let's switch over to a flying character. That might make it better, that might make it worse. We're about to find out. Uh, so, Gamma Jack, if that's you right now, that's you. Okay, so, yeah, like let's even take a look in some places, apparently, we've already been to, where there's probably just been extra stuff respawning. Like there was something on top of this building, maybe this is like a thing to do, like we can, yeah, it's one of these, okay. Probably missed that in the past, so glad to get it now. Oh, this is so nice, like this is so wonderful. Like what about these down this way? Like, I don't know if it tells us about like gold bricks and stuff. I mean, most of those we can find. It's a lot of these screen wave things I just missed. That's a five out of 10. And what about this way? Looks like this one's pretty far. But this is, I feel like it's nice for these areas I've missed, just totally makes the game so much more easier though, for sure. We'll change the splash down for this. It's probably one of the statues, which is so good. Because I don't really like searching for the statues. It's sort of a pain in the butt. Yup, it is very cool. So I love this. We might just use this for times where we're just really stuck or I'm just trying to find one specific thing. And you see this, it's just like there's stuff everywhere, which doesn't really help too much. But looking this way, there's nothing, which is huge. Just knowing that there's nothing this way I need to find or collect, I thought it was only gonna tell me about stuff nearby. Not the case. So there's a couple things seemingly under the water over here. Let's get to them. It only tells me about the things I need to do, I think. It hasn't told me about anything that we, we've already done all of the things for. So, like even that, that's even better, you know? So let's get on the floor and bust this statue. I really don't like having to deal with these statues, so if I could do this now, that's fantastic. This is awesome. And it helps us for the you know things we've missed in the industrial area. For now though, we'll keep it to Urban Heights because we still need to find a couple more. And this really makes it easy. Okay, this one's right here. I gotta do this one. Okay, land on the water. So like I said, let me know, is this cheating? Should I not do it? Or should I? Do you not care? You just wanna see me get as much stuff as possible as soon as possible. I feel like, you know, like if we're using the stun multipliers, you'd think it'd be fair game to, to do this as well. That's why I wanna hear your feedback. So there should be a couple more. Like there's something up this way. Maybe it'll be the drone. I sure hope it is. It is, okay. So, whoa, not what I wanted. So these guys like don't even really attack us. Can I not go up or what? What's going on, Splashdown? Man, it gets crazy when you think all these different symbols is moving around. Okay, and then there should be one this way. Probably also one of those on top of the building. And then we'll use this to find whatever we missed in Industrial Heights. Whoa, where were you, dude? You're just fooling around right here. Okay, uh, can I, I can't like use shots or anything. This is Screenslaver's Lair, really? Yeah, I guess so. No, come on! Seriously, dude? Can you just point up there? You can't. How am I supposed to get this guy? There we go. I just had to point the camera up to him. Got him. Five out of five, so that's a gold brick. And that should be everything in this area completed. Oh yeah, and we forgot. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot all this last episode. I'm just a dingus. We get a new character for, of course, completing this area, our 90th character, so only 29 more characters left to get. It was just a, a screensaver guard, maybe a syndrome guard, something like that. Yeah, I think a syndrome guy. See, so yeah, let's move back to the industrial area. And what I might do is just try to get there and then go to the other side and look back this way where I know I've already like completed everything so there shouldn't be anything in our way. So that'll be very nice. I am super excited to see what ends up happening with this. So let's just move to the other side of the industrial area. Just like this. Come on, come on. And perfect. So what we're gonna do now is just turn around and try to go for everything that has a question mark in the industrial area. So we got like a couple things this way. 
First off, the closest one looks like it's this. What's it gonna be? Oh, okay, it's whatever this is. That is parts unknown. Oh, I get it, like space. And you know, obviously we found Wally in this area. That's pretty cool, that's pretty smart. You never would've noticed that they're pretty small. Can we ride this? I don't think so. Oh, we can! Oh, cool. Okay, so let's try this. He really isn't one for traveling alone. He's usually either in the water or in the sky. So what about this one? This is gonna be another parts unknown. Slam that down. Three out of five for parts unknown now. There's a couple more things this way. I know some of it is from a different area probably. Oh hey, how did I not see this? I was over on this. Maybe it wasn't there before. Oh, I guess we got all those. No, we didn't. Clean up crew, seven out of 10. Very nice. Another screen slaver thing. I don't know why Somebody this isn't glowing, because I'm pretty sure we haven't found all the civilians yet. Maybe some things just don't show up. That'd be weird, though. So let's try this. Maybe we did find all 10, and that's why it's not telling me. Best thing to do is just to try to find out this way. Ready? What do we get? Do we, do we get it? Oh, ah, okay, that one just wasn't showing up before. Weird. Maybe if it's just random like that, it just doesn't show it. I don't want to be all too helpful. We got another one over this way. I can't believe I didn't find a single one of these things. I'm sort, of, I'm sort of disappointed in myself. There's four out of five. I need to sort of go back over this way and then turn around because I'm sort of getting lost with it all. So do that, turn around, and then right there. Okay, and then we have found all of those, and that means this area is technically completed, which would be amazing. I'd be so happy. Ready, jump, slam. Yeah. Okay, 141 gold bricks, and that should unlock our area for completing this area. Or unlock character for completing this area. It's a robot. Okay, it's a random robot. <laughs> what does that have to do with the Incredibles? Who knows? But we got him. An incredible robot. So very cool. It seems like now we have for real found everything you can really find in the industrial area and the urban heights area. So we'll try to tackle another place in the next episode, but man, was that fun. Like I said, let me know, is it cheating to use this? Because at this point, I'm not really sure, but everything this way has been totally cleared out, which is beautiful. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Lego The Incredibles. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Bug so I know you've watched to the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.